What is going on guys? The Dead vs. Dog game with my review of God Eater Episode 1 and this right here is another show that I've been looking so forward to and finally I had the chance to watch it and of course you know I had to bring out a review for you guys because this right here as soon as I found out that this right was like getting, getting in an in anime I definitely knew that I was going to review it so obviously now you know I'm so happy that I, that I can't bring this to you all but God Eater the series that I have been interested in but sadly I have not played the game itself and I definitely want to play the first game and not only that like I I do know that it has a sequel coming out for the uh, for the PS4 so, so hopefully I can play the first game before that comes out because this right here you know different episode if it is following the game then sadly I feel like I definitely missed out but the episode itself it starts off now in a flashback and we see now that the world like definitely messed up because we see now that a town here but like in ruins and then we see you know a guy is like it's like very hurt and then then fast forward a bit we see that through here could be like the same guy I I do believe it was. We see him now hiding as you know some kind of monster hell hell like passed by him. But then we see now that this same guy he he, he uh, made it he made, made it to this organization called uh, uh Finwar or Finner something like that. And we see now that they are a group that like, that fight against the creatures called the. Uh, aragami and, and these aragami are like these monstrous looking creatures that are obviously ca causing terror around the world and we see now that like there were obviously two guys that had like ran this place and then there was like one point where it would like cut back between a flashback and present time and we see now that that, that these two you know the uh the uh, two guys that like run this place you know obviously now you know, like those two were the scientists that they have found this like oracle cell as they called it. And then there was like this this uh third female as well. But but for some reason, you know, or obviously like there's no way this this female in a flashback is the same female that is like, you know, that is one one of the leaders now because to me, you know, e even though it's in flashback, they obviously they obviously look, look very different. So I do wonder what exactly happened to that third scientist because now you know we have no, we have not seen her, but we see these others who constantly. So that would make me wonder or think that it is possible that that female you know was killed somehow. But now we see that our guy that like wants to join the or, or, that uh wants to. To join you know this like organization obviously you know his a uh, his his character or or arc, or archetype whatever what, what, what you want to call it is definitely a big cliche because right now he he is so consumed with like killing all these aragami that we see now that when he had went through this test and we see now that they like put on some bracelet on him that he could like never take off we we see now that even 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 before they have warned him, we see now that these cells because they actually implant these aragami cells. You know, they they actually implant these aragami cells into these new recruits, and we see now that even before they have warned him, it was like already happening. But now we see now that this guy was like able, able to handle it, and that right there allowed him you know to join. And, and and so we see now that at one point we do see how how this uh how the world looks now and we see now that like in this town we see that what well, to be honest it definitely it definitely reminded me kind of like attack on a titan meets you know a uh, world trigger because because we see now that this town is like surrounded by this wall and we see now that in the center of it it's like there's this very large building that obviously stands out and that right there definitely made me think of those two those two animes you know like when i saw this but now we see that that uh, that linka or rinka because you know because for some reason you know in the sub they call him linka but everywhere else where i looked this up they all have rinka and that right there is not the first time i saw this happen because in, in, in another anime that i've seen before like in, like in the anime they call him like Lito, but everywhere else wherever you wherever you wherever you like look up this character they they call him Raito. So obviously that right there definitely can be confusing. But because but because we we saw Linka so much in the subs, I feel that that right there 
might might say some people you know some confusion because obviously you know Rika and Linka you know even though even though those names are similar you know they they could be for you know very different characters but now we see now trouble you know but like definitely going on as the Aragami were like you know causing havoc as usual and we see now that some unit was like being sent on to confront them and and now we have Linka you know running toward where the major was because obviously you know he uh wants to go out there and fight but obviously you know like what what while he was running there we see him now bump into someone and not only that the major herself actually stopped him because this guy needed like serious training and we see now that these weapons, you know, for some reason, you know, these, these, like for some reason, these are uh, training weapons. I definitely was not feeling there first because, you know, they look a bit lame to me. And for some reason, or I could tell that, you know, like there was just no way these uh, weapons could do like any real damage because obviously, you know, the uh, blade on it was like very dull. But we see that that guy he uh, bumped into, these two will like be trained together. And this guy, you know, I definitely can't remember. I definitely can't remember his name at the moment because let's be honest, this guy played no purpose in, like any episode except for being kind of useless and and also you know introducing another character because we saw that while while they were training, you know Linka here he was not that bad, but the other guy was like definitely struggling and lucky for them you know this right here was like virtual and and not you know reality otherwise you know this this guy. Would have been in like serious trouble but now we see you know like now now we see that after some time has passed and once again you know he he is training you know lincoln here is definitely showing you know some great improvement but he is still losing though and that right there was rather disappointing but now we see now that while he was walking the halls we we see that someone that was like sent to you know fight the aragami you know came back and was like very injured i do believe this guy you know lost a limb and so now we see because linka was like definitely struggling with his training he did he uh did see me down a bit but then we have you know the other guy that that, that i call used to you know come to him and apparently you know this guy Wants to show Linka something, and not only that, we we see now that what he shows him, or or yeah, like what 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 he shows him is that you know Linka here will begin a major upgrade. But before that, we see now that when when they have first went to the uh, storage unit, we saw now that like two guys like were were injured, but you know they they were like still being sent back out there to fight. Now I do believe you know those guys probably died, you know, because obviously you know they were already hurt, so obviously they cannot be that good, and 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 so obviously you know with them already having the injuries, that right there would make it that much harder, you know, you know, to, for for them to fight. But now we see now that this girl, she is she like a mechanic, and I I but do her I do I, I do believe her name was like uh Linka or something something like not not Linka but I I do recall her name starting like starting with an L, but this this, this uh this mechanic here she actually made Linka his like his a uh, his very own weapon called a guard arc, and, and this weapon like now like now we're talking when I sold it because to me it looked very awesome, and, and, and so so even though Linka now had now has his own guard arc because that right there is the uh, most effective we most effective weapon against the you know Aragami, he was still not being sent out to fight because obviously you know. He, he's, he's like he's still struggling with his training so obviously he is not ready for like real combat and now we see that you know when uh, trouble was, was like happening because because we saw one girl running in a panic and obviously that right there caught me Lincoln's attention and so obviously now when he uh, found out what's going on at these you know our, our Aragami's had actually broken into the town, you know, about like by attacking the wall and weakening it, you know, obviously now it's not looking good. And then we had them attacking from like two different sides. 
And, and and so now they're like already a squad out there fighting them, but it would like take them. I, I believe she said twenty minutes, you know, to get there. You know, Linka had no choice but you know to uh, disobey orders because the major was like telling him to go back because obviously she knew that like Linka wasn't ready. But this guy right here, you know, disobeyed her and actually you know uh, got his guard arc, even though apparently it it was probably you know locked down. And then after. after after uh, he got it, you know, the, the uh, major here told this girl to like lock down, lock, lock down these walls. But that right there was, was like not stopping Link at all, as he actually cut through them. And now this right here is, is where things get, you know, pretty freaking awesome because because we see now that while like Linka was like running with his weapon, and obviously you know this guy was like in a rush. We see now that those Aragami cells in his body, they were like actually reacting, and we see now that you know like like it, like when when Alinka went out, it was like raining, but then then you see you know those raindrops you know slowing down, and then then you see you know Linka you know putting like some. Uh, flash type stuff, and this guy got insanely fast, you know, thanks to the, you know, uh, Avogami uh, cells in his body, and that right there was, like, pretty freaking impressive, that right there made me want to see some, something more of Linka, and obviously, you know, we have the, ma we have the, uh, the, the major, and the, uh, and the, uh, other guy that in charge, you know, watching him, and so, when, and so, when Linka finally, you know, arrived, you know, on the scene, we see now that like there was a, another guy fighting, you know, the Avogami, and this guy obviously, you know, had his own, you know, God Eater. But not only that, we see now that at one point this guy, I I hate to say it, but it was hilarious the way that this, you know, Avogami, you know, got behind him, and and, and just gave him, you know, the uh, dirtiest sneak attack because that right there looks so brutal, you know, from from uh from the way he got hit and obviously you know from the way he went flying but for some reason though it actually made me laugh and I feel I feel so bad for saying that but it was hilarious but now we see now Linka here Linka had no choice but to fight all these guys on his own and obviously you know this guy had not had that much training and he's not that good anyway so he was like definitely struggling and so we see now that at one point he uh, lost his weapon and, and, and we see now that that uh he he uh, had to use a two by four, but but obviously that right there did nothing. But luckily he uh he was definitely saved by a familiar face to me because even though I I, I have not played the game, I do know some of the characters like Soma and uh, and Lindo because these two were in a game called Project X Zone, and that game I do love it even though it didn't do that well. I, I love that game and these two characters along with the other girl who uh, has an appearance or, or maybe she has because you know I, I was thinking that, that that mechanic was the girl but I'm not really sure and right now you know I forgot her name but when when Soma came in there this guy was awesome and then we have some other girl you know wearing, wearing a, a dress and she was like some gunner type but then, then we have you know uh, Lindo he would like smoking and he like and, and even though he, he was like talking and walking he was still you know like taking them out with like one swing and that right there shows you know how good he is but not only that all three of them are good because they are a part of the uh, first unit and then we have the guy who who got taken out you know who got one shotted this this guy you know his name Eric and so so now we see that the first unit they were actually going to like deal with the uh, Aragami, but uh, Linka here, he actually noticed that like a female was in trouble and obviously, you know, they could not get to her in time. And so he was thought, uh, and so uh, Linka here, Linka here was like going to try to save her. But we see now, obviously, you know, like they, it, there was some great distance between them. And obviously, you know, right now he has a sword. But but we but we see now that when that girl gunner was like going going to try to take them out, we see that you know two more Aragami got in her way. So obviously, these creatures, even though they they uh, seem rather stupid, they are quite smart. And so now we see that apparently Linka's weapon here, it can change and, and uh, it became a gunner and actually, you know, when he shot it, 
Like, to me, that looked pretty awesome. And, and he took out that origami. And obviously, you know, he had saved that woman. And we have the uh, first unit, you know, being shocked right now. Because that right there was the first time they saw that. And obviously, you know, it was a new type. Oh, and at one point, we saw now that the uh, origami, they were like in one area together. And we see now that all of them, you know, just ran away. And then we see some big guy, you know, come out of nowhere. And I'm not sure if my eye was like playing tricks on me, but it seemed like he was like wearing some kind of cape. I'm like, I, I don't know, I don't know if that would be, you know, is uh, correct or not. But 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 like after you know, Lincoln had like have say that girl or woman that right there is where the episode ended at. And so and, and and so after that, you know, we we got the opening sequence. And to me, I was like digging it. To be honest, this series, I'm definitely liking it. Like the uh, animation, you know, you know. uh Despite being CG, because obviously a lot of anime don't do that. Like, like the only one I can think of right now is like uh, is this Knights of uh, of of Shindoa. As to be honest, you know, right now God Eater, you know, to me at least, it 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 has better animation. Even though both of them are both of them are, are like using the uh, exact same style. But overall, the episode, like I said, it got me sold. I loved it. I want to see more. But I do wonder what, what like, Soma here now in the picture, because I do believe that Soma here is, like, the real main character, or, or, at, least, or at least in the game he, he is. I'm not really sure. I do wonder if, like, Linka will fall, you know, like, into the background. But obviously, I doubt that, because he he, he was, like, the main focus, you know, for, like, most of the episode. But overall, I'm going to get probably an 8 out of 10. But, of course, I'd love to hear your thoughts on this. As always, don't forget to like and subscribe. Because it really helps me out. And you guys take it easy. I will see you all next time.